Okay, so you worked with some geometric shapes. You also did some organic shapes. Now it's time to have a lot of fun. Trust me, the kids love this. The motion shape makes some really cool geometric designs. Oh, speaking of geometric designs, we're gonna need geometric shapes. So let's go to the cookie cutter shapes that are in Illustrator. Remember, you can go here, hold it down, and then go to the tear off. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna start tearing it up with some motion shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the start tool. Okay, and let's go ahead and get rid of our fill. Remember, you can hit the question mark key or forward slash. I'm gonna hit X to get to my stroke. And I'm just gonna start off with a basic red stroke. All right, remember with your star, you can hit the up arrow or down arrow to start off. I'm gonna want a certain amount of points on my star. So I'm gonna go ahead in the star tool, pretend like I'm throwing down an anchor point by putting my pen to the pad, and I'm gonna change it to eight, because that's what I wanna start off with. Okay, hit delete, and now I'm gonna go ahead and drag it out, kinda like this conversation we're having. I'm just gonna hit the bottom button on my pen to bring it to the center, or you can hit the space bar, or hold down the space bar in order to move it. And then the next item I'm going to want to hit on my keyboard is called the tilde tool key. Okay, if we look at our keyboard, in the upper left corner, there's the escape button. Right below that is a wormy looking thing called the tilde. I'm going to want to hit the tilde key and hold it and drag. And if you notice, I'm holding the tilde, tilde key and I'm taking my pen and dragging on my pad, not picking it up until I'm ready to be done with the shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift the pen now, and then lift the tilde key, and then hit Control Shift A. Remember, it's important that when you are using the pen tool and holding a shortcut, that you lift the pen first, and then the keyboard shortcut. So the pen key, or the pen first, and then the tilde key. Now you notice you don't really see a really cool pattern because the stroke weight's a little too large. So I'm gonna hit Control A to select it all and lessen the stroke weight. I'm gonna hit this down arrow. Let's go to 0.25, hit Control Shift A, and we've got a really cool pattern. You can overlap patterns to bring unity, to show contrast, and to also draw emphasis. Some really cool things in art. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the ellipse tool. You can hit L for the shortcut, remember, that's a shortcut for the ellipse tool. And I'm going to go yellow, okay? We're going a little warm colors in here. I'm just going to drag it out. Now, if you notice, it's not doing it from the middle, okay? So I'm going to hold the Shift key, and I'm going to hold the Alt key, and then I'm going to try and hit the tilde key, and we've got that really cool thing that goes right from the middle, okay? So Shift, the Alt, and the tilde key are all being held. I lift the pen first, and then the shortcuts, and then hit Control Shift A. Pretty cool. All right, I love it. All right, I'm gonna hit Control A and then hit Delete. There's some other things you can do with the tilde key. I'm gonna go to the Star tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag the star out. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold the tilde key. Now you can hit the space bar or the bottom button on the pen to drag this out and go wherever you want. Okay, lots of fun. Okay, that's one option with the motion shape. Hit Control Shift A. Kind of cool, huh? You can hit Control A to delete. Another thing you could do is add a fill. Now it gets a little bit more complicated when you add a fill. I'm gonna go ahead and add a dark and red fill. And what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna wanna start out large and then hold the tilde key and go small. So I'm bringing the pen in Bring the pen in, bring the pen in, and you notice, and I could twist it a little bit at the, in the, right there at the beginning there. And release the pen, and then release the tilde key. And now I'm gonna change, hit Control Shift A, and you notice it does a really cool pattern. Take a look. Whoa, that's way cool. Couple other things to note about the motion shape that I've noticed over the years. Let's try a different motion shape because I've tried that one a lot. Let's go to, hmm, 
the circle one. Okay, with the motion shape that I've noticed, with the Alt key, it affects the motion shape a lot. I don't like that one. I'll go with the polygon tool. Let's go a little bit interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hold the tilde key. Whoops, we're starting large. We have to go small. Okay, that's one way to do it. Or you can go ahead and get rid of the fill. Start small, hold the tilde key, then the Alt key, and then release the Alt key, and then hit Control Shift A. You see how it altered the pattern a little bit? It's easier to see with the Star tool. Let me show you. Let's go with the darker color. I'm going to go ahead and drag this out. If I hold the Alt key, look. Look what happens. It's like a heart. Do, 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 do. All right. So let's go ahead and hold the tilde key. I'm rotating it. Alt key. Release the Alt key. Alt key again. Release the Alt key. And then release the pen. Control Shift A. Whoa, that's so cool. You can have so much fun with it. Or you can do the reverse. Let's go ahead and give it a contrasting color. Let's drag it out large. Holding the bottom button on the pen or the space bar. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold the tilde key. Then the Alt key. Then release the Alt key. And then the Alt key. And then release the Alt key. Control Shift A. Pretty cool. Lots of fun. Enjoy the motion shape as I have and I always will. All right. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that you had some fun using the motion shape. I'm going to show you another way to have some fun because there's plenty more where that came from. We're going to need to get to the flare tool. And the way we get to the flare tool is with our friends, the geometric shapes. If you notice, I'm clicking with my pen down on my pad on the rectangle or whatever tool shows up here to get all the menu here. Here is the flare tool. So I'm going to do myself a favor and tear this off. Drag this up. Make sure I'm in the flare tool. Now, if you notice, I'm just going to put my pen to the pad and drag this out like this conversation we're having. It's off the digital canvas, but I'm having fun, so I'm not too concerned at this point. Watch what happens when I bring this targeting cursor to the middle of the flare. You'll notice the targets. And I'm just clicking with my pen and holding down now. And watch. Whoa, that's so cool. I'm glad you showed me that, Mr. F. I know, I know. Don't get excited at once. There's more things to do with this. It gets really cool. So I'm just going to hit delete. And I'm just going to drag out another flare. I'm going to hit the up arrow. And you'll notice there's more rays of light. If I hit the down arrow, there's less. OK, so I'm going to hit the up arrow. We've got more rays of light. If we zoom in, you know what I'm talking about. Control Shift A. I said Control Shift A. There we go. I'm zooming in, and you'll see there's those rays of light. OK? Those of you like, like Madonna know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and select the flare. And I'm just going to go to the targeting and drag this out. I'm going to hit the up arrow, and you'll see those bubbles are more. If I hit the down arrow, they're less. Hit the up arrow, and then we go there. And then I lift the pen up, and look, Control Shift A. It's totally out of this world. Really neat. I'm going to get hit Control A and then hit Delete. Yes, kids, there's more. Something that I found was really cool, I think a student showed me, so thank you, whoever that student was, was that you could change the color of the flare. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Rectangle tool by hitting M. I'm going to select a fill. Let's go blue, because it's my favorite color. I'm not going to worry about a stroke, so I'm just going to leave that as none. And I'm going to go ahead and cover the digital canvas. This is a good way to give yourself a nice background for your digital canvas. OK. I didn't do a great job there, so I'm going to hit Control-Shift-A. I'm going to go to the Selection tool. 
you can go here, or you can hold the control key, click on it, just go to these little squares to line them up with the digital canvas. I'm going to zoom in because it doesn't look right. Okay, control key, line it up. Okay, it looks good. I'm going to hit control zero, and we're back in business. Now I'm going to hit control shift A just to make sure everything's deselected. I'm going to zoom out one so I can see my whole digital canvas. Go to the flare tool. There's no shortcut for it, of course. <laughs> Click on it. Drag it out like this conversation we're having. Hit the up arrow a few times to see some cool patterns of light. Whoa, it's a blue flare. Hit Control Z to de undeselect. So I hit selected now. Now I'm just going to go to the middle, targeting, hit the up arrow a few times, make it look pretty sweet. Now, the flare tool is, gives me that feel like if you were to take a photo and the lens was in the ray of the light, and the, the light went through the lens and through the camera. That's where I get the flare tool from. But as you can see, we could totally distort it to make it look like a cool, out of this world look. Pretty neat. And you can have fun with it and make little planets. And oh yeah. And let's say you wanted to change some of the background color. Let's go. Let's go green because I'm environmental like that. Uh, let's go yellow. Whoa, that's super bright. You know, just have some fun. Experiment. Try it out. This is for fun. Um, let me know if you know you're having any issues. If it's personal, that's what a social worker is for. All right, take care. Enjoy.